Travis joins us now with sports. Okay, the first pick of the chat of the draft for a local high school. Belton should be sticking out their chest. Belton a little bit High School, yeah. the first pick of the night in round two. Yeah, not a bad night for the Tigers. Where is Logan Hall headed in the NFL? We'll have that one for you next. Plus, it's a historic night for the Bears. Four Baylor wow. players headed to the league. Sports is next. Day two of the NFL draft is upon us as the Cowboys continue to build toward the future as they and well truthfully 31 other teams chase what they hope is a potential Super Bowl. The Cowboys had one pick in the second round tonight and with it they chose Ole Miss defensive end Sam Williams with the 56th overall pick. Williams was a junior college transfer at Ole Miss who set a school record in sacks in 2021 totaling 12 and a half. Then in the third round, it was Emmett Smith's turn to announce the pick as they chose South Alabama receiver Jalen Tolbert. Tolbert is explosive. He caught seven balls for more than 140 yards against Tennessee in 2021 and 10 balls for more than 100 yards against Sunbelt Power Coastal Carolina. No Baylor players were selected last night, but it didn't take long before the first one in round two tonight. Jalen Petrie is heading home to Houston to suit up for his hometown Texans. The Texans chose Petrie with the 37th overall pick. Petrie, the reigning Big 12 Conference Defensive Player of the Year, grew up in the Houston area and played high school ball at Stafford High. He was the second Houston area prospect the Texans chose in this year's draft. Then Houston traded up to go after Alabama star receiver John Mechie the third. Mechie was a more than 1100 yard receiver for the Crimson Tide last year. He averaged just shy of 88 receiving yards per game. Including Petrie to the Texans, there were five players with ties to Central Texas taken in tonight's second and third rounds. The first pick of the night, though, belonged to Belton High School's Logan Hall. The defensive lineman from the University of Houston was selected in the first pick of the second round by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hall led the Cougars of Houston in 2021 with 13 and a half sacks while playing in 12 games for UH. The New England Patriots traded with the Chiefs to move up to the 50th pick and choose Bay wide receiver Tyquan Thornton. Thornton caught 143 balls in green and gold for more than 2,200 yards and 19 career touchdowns, including almost 950 yards and 10 TDs this season. The LA Chargers went for the heartbreak kid, choosing Baylor safety JT Woods in the third round. Woods intercepted six passes in 2021, including two against Ole Miss in the Sugar Bowl and a pick six for the Bears first points of the season at Texas. Texas State. Baylor linebacker Terrell Bernard is now a member of the Mafia. The Buffalo Bills chose Bernard with the 89th overall pick in tonight's third round. That makes four Baylor Bears and a Belton Tiger in the second and third rounds. Ignore the struggle at the start of Big 12 play because it truthfully seems like Baylor's softball team certainly has. The Bears are hoping to continue building toward a postseason berth, hosting an Iowa State team, which seems very, very similar to itself. Game one of this weekend series is tonight in Waco as the regular season starts to wind down. We pick this one up top three, no score. Angelita Fuentes grounds one into right field past a diving first and second baseman. So she's safe at first, but the Cyclones do nothing with it. Bottom third. Mackenzie Wilson hits the wall in the air. That's good for a double. But guess where this one's going? BU does nothing with it because here is Aaliyah Benford strikeout swinging. That ends the inning. The Bears get the win, though. one nothing is the final game to tomorrow. Baylor's baseball team across the sidewalk tonight hosting number nine, Texas Tech, in a massive Big 12 series. Top four, it's 5-1 Tech. Baylor gets the runner trying to steal second. That'll end the inning for the Bears. Bottom four, Harrison Cayley, a single into left field, but Baylor would leave him stranding to the top of the fifth we go. Kurt Wilson doubles one into left. It's off the glove of the shortstop. So then next batter is Hudson White and uh, you know where this one's going. That's a double to the wall. Wilson scores. It's 6-1 Tech. Tech wins it 7-1 the final game two tomorrow. 
Midway softball team is on a mission. A heartbreaking end of the 2021 season has them driven to make a deeper run in this year's postseason. That could start with a win tonight. Pantherettes going for the series sweep of Belton in the first round tonight at home. We pick this one up top of the second. Tristan Thompson, a nice hit, but lines out. And Thompson makes the catch over there at first. Then same inning, Tony Mishnick, the diving play to end the inning. What a defensive inning for Midway. Then a home run from Danya Door to left field. Solo shot puts Midway up 1-0. Panthrats win it 9-1. They are moving on to the area round. Nice sweep to start the playoffs. We're back to wrap it up after this. Stay with us.